Hi everyone, Gay Guide here, and today we're going to talk about PrEP for the prevention of HIV. Now PrEP is actually a nickname for the, for the brand name Truvada, and it stands for Pre-Exposure Prophylaxis. Now prophylaxis is to prevent or protect against the spread of an infection or disease, and in this case PrEP is a prophylaxis against HIV. Now, PrEP is not a cure or a vaccine against HIV, but if used properly, PrEP can actually reduce your risk of HIV infection by up to 99%. And it's also important to note that PrEP is only for HIV, and it won't protect you against any other STDs or pregnancy, so it's definitely not an excuse to stop using condoms. PrEP actually doesn't attack HIV directly, but what it does do is it builds up your own body's defenses, and it protects your T-cells from being invaded by HIV and replicating in your body. In order for PrEP to be effective, it actually needs some time to build up your body's defenses against HIV. Uh, and it needs to be taken every day. Scientists believe if you take it every day, it takes about 20 days to build up the full effectiveness in your body. That means PrEP is not a pill you can take when you only think you're going to be engaging in risky behavior. Now, you can't think, oh, I'm going to have a slutty week this week, I better get on some PrEP. It doesn't work that way. It's got to be taken on a regular basis every day in order to maintain the levels in your body for complete protection. And that also means that it's not a morning after pill. Uh, you can't take it after you've already engaged in risky behavior with someone with HIV. Now, while it does have to be taken every day, if you miss a dose here or there, it's really not the end of the world. You have to just make sure you get on your next dose and you continue taking it regularly from here on out as best you can. If you find yourself missing, uh, you know, more than two days a month, uh, make sure you talk to your doctor about it and, and they can help you come up with a plan to make sure that, that you don't miss more. When you first start taking PrEP, uh, there actually are some mild side effects you have to deal with. Uh, there could be a chance of, uh, you know, mild stomach ache, a loss of appetite, and some mild headaches. But for most people, these usually go away within the first, the first few days of taking the drug, and once it's built up in your system, they go away completely. A pill that prevents HIV? Sounds great, right? I mean, I think so, but there have been some arguments against the pill. Uh, the first argument is against cost, because it, has, it actually is very expensive. Uh, PrEP without insurance can actually cost up to $1,300 a month. Uh, but the good news is that almost all insurance these days does cover that cost. Um, and if, even if you don't have insurance, Gilead, the maker of Truvada, they have this great uh, payment assistance program. So they'll help cover the cost if you don't have insurance. And even if you do have insurance, they'll even cover the cost of any co-pays that you have to pay on top of your insurance. For example, I have insurance that covers the cost of PrEP, uh, but there's usually a $30 copay every month. But I signed up for the Gilead copay card, I'll put a link down below, and I just show that card to my pharmacist when I pick up my prescription, and they waive that $30 fee. So effectively, I'm getting PrEP for free. The second most common argument against PrEP is that people believe it will increase the amount of unprotected sex and other risky behavior. But studies have shown that this is not the case, uh, that people who are on PrEP don't engage in any more or less risky behavior than it did before, but now they just have that added protection against HIV. And even if you aren't engaging in risky behavior, if everyone was on PrEP, there would be no more HIV. And I think that reason alone is why I try and, try and encourage as many people as I can to, to talk to their doctor and see if it's right for them. You know, a world without HIV is a world I want to live in, so I try and encourage everyone to do their part to get us there. And lastly, the current guidelines for PrEP require that the patient get an STD test every three months while on it before they get a refill. And I think this is a great added bonus for being on PrEP. Um, you know, before I was on it, I would only really get tested once a year when I saw my doctor. But since I've been on it, I'm required to get tested every three months. And I love getting those results back every three months, saying that I'm still clean and disease-free. And I love being able to say to my partners, I'm negative and on PrEP. I've been taking PrEP for about a year now, and I love that not only am I protecting myself against HIV, but I'm doing my part to eliminate the disease altogether. So to summarize, PrEP is a nickname for the drug Truvada, and it stands for Pre-Exposure Prophylaxis, and it's for protection against HIV infection. It works most effectively when the drug has time to be built up in your body, and that's usually after about 20 days of taking it every day. It's not a night of or morning after pill, but there is a morning after pill for people who believe they may have been exposed to HIV, but that's only to be used in case of an emergency. I'll put more information about that below. And PrEP has some mild to moderate side effects, but all of these typically go away after the first few days of being on the drug. So I encourage everyone watching this video, when, no matter what your orientation or gender is, to talk to your doctor about getting on PrEP. Uh, you'll do, be doing your part to help protect yourself against HIV and helping us eradicate the disease altogether. 
And that about covers it. Uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see my upcoming videos. And if you have any other questions about prep or any other topic, uh, you can leave a question in any of my comments section or email me at thegayguide at gmail.com. And in the meantime, get out there and be who you needed growing up.